the life of the convicted Parkland, Florida school shooter Nicholas Cruz will soon be in the hands of a jury. Closing arguments ended and jurors will now decide whether Cruz gets life without parole or the death penalty. 14 students and three staff members were killed on Valentine's Day 2018. CBS's Manuel Bohorkas reports from Fort Lauderdale, and we want to warn you that some of the images are disturbing. A trial that has been painful for the victims' families to listen to ended with closing arguments that were no different. It was a systematic massacre. Prosecutor said Nicholas Cruz, who's already pleaded guilty to killing 17 people at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in 2018, should be put to death for what they called a premeditated and heinous attack. What he did was to murder children at school and their caretakers. The defense has to convince just one juror against the death penalty for Cruz to get life in prison. His lawyers argued he's a broken and abused person, starting with fetal alcohol syndrome due to his mother's addiction. Do we kill brain-damaged, mentally ill, broken people? Do we? I hope not. During the trial, jurors went to the high school building where it happened, the crime scene preserved for them to see. They also saw the weapon and tactical vest the shooter wore. And though he didn't testify, they heard a videotaped interview where he described why he did it. I felt like no one loved me. And I didn't like Valentine's Day. I want to ruin it for everyone. The jury will also weigh the words of the victim's families, like the Hoyers, who lost their 15-year-old son, Luke. Every morning when I wake up, knowing Luke is not upstairs in his bed is pure agony. If the jury decides in favor of the death penalty, that becomes a recommendation the judge can either follow or still grant life in prison. The seven men and five women of the jury will be sequestered as deliberations begin tomorrow. Nora. Memorable Harkis, thank you.